This video is going to show you how to create an articulated hinge in any object that you want. First thing you're going to do is start with the 3D Tinkercad of the articulated hinges, which you'll notice you've got four pieces to it that we're going to use. The first piece is your what we're going to call your slicer, which is going to slice your model. That you have your left hinge, your you have your right hinge and your left hinge. The solid fat, like where the, the hoop is, depends on if it's going to go on the left or the right side of your model. And then you have the punch tool. So the first thing we're going to do is rename this to call this what it is that you want. So I'm going to call it, I'm going to make a flexible batarang. And I already went ahead and I found an image of a batarang from Batman. So I'm going to import that shape. So I'm going to go to the import. I'm going to choose a file and I saved it onto my computer here and I put it right on my desktop and that is the batarang. And so I am going to import the batarang in here. And here is my batarang. So the first thing that I want to do is I am going to flip this model on its side. So I'm going to flip it 90 degrees. So I've just got it down on its model and then I want to rotate it so it's facing the right direction. I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees so it's facing the front. So everything is facing the front. Okay, now one of the things that I'm going to do with this is I also want to make this so it's nice and flat against the bed of my, of my model. So I've got it on the bed of the model. All right, so here is my batarang. And so what I can do with this here, if I look at this, the size of this batarang is going to be, it's going to be pretty small. It's only uh, 56 57 millimeters by 25 millimeters, right? So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. So I'm going to double the size. So I'm going to make that 50. And we'll make this um, 112, right? And so here that's going to be, there's my battering. So now I've got a battering. The other thing that we want to do is we want to make our model. So this is designed, your hinges are designed, and we don't ever change any of this. Your hinges are designed that are eight millimeters in depth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change and make my batarang eight millimeters, 8.0. So it's going to be eight millimeters in depth. And what that's going to do is make sure that we've got a nice thick uh, batarang model that we're going to be working with. Right? And so that's going to help us when we get our make our model and we get everything set up. So once we get our shape put in here and we've got it set up the right way, we're going to drag our um, slicer tool and we're not, we don't change the size. But, so we're going to do our slicer. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start kind of right on one edge of the Batman here. And, I, and what you want to do is you want to find out where do you, where are you going to put your brakes, where your hinges are going to be? And I, you got to think about this. I don't want to put a hinge right in the middle of Batman's battering so i'm going to put this off to the edge a little bit so i'm going to put my hinge right here now what i'm going to do is Control c to copy it Control v to paste it and then using my right or left arrow i'm going to move and put my other one and what i want to do is i want to try to kind of get it about the same so that looks to be about the same and i can change my view if i need to so i'm kind of looking at it, it looks about the same I'm going to do control C, control V again. And if I want to, I want to make sure that I get this about the same distance. So I'm going to go 12 millimeters. So I'm just going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, when I look at this, so here when I do the 12, and I know I'm doing 12 because I have a one millimeter grid down here. So that's going to go exactly 12 millimeters. So when I slice this, here's the problem that I got. When I look at this, see, I'm going to have this little piece up here that's going to actually be cut off. So that's not going to look good. So I'm going to go just a little bit more, and I'm going to put my hinge right in there. Let's go back to the other side. So I'm going to go back to this one, Control-C to copy it. Then I'm going to go left, one, two, oh, I want to do Control-V to paste it. Then do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. A little bit further so that I get into the, so I've got solid meat for my battering. And then you can decide. I don't know that I necessarily want to put another one in there. So what you want to do first is find where your hinges are. Your hinges have to have at least 10 millimeters distance in between. I do the 12, makes it nice and easy. So once we get that, what we're going to do is drag a box around just 
the what are our slicers what's so going to select just the slicers turn those into a hole we're going to group our shapes together and we have now sliced our batman oh gotta do that again drag select all of our shapes we've got our batarang and our hole we hit the group button and now we've sliced our battering. So now our battering is exactly one milli have one millimeter gaps in them. Do not change the size of it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, okay, this is our left side hinge, this is our right side hinge. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my left side hinge in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag my hinge. So you wanna make sure that we're not changing the size of it, we're just dragging it now. So we're going to put it into our hinge here. And this is where what we want to do, we want to zoom in so we get really, really, really close. And what we want to do is edit our grid to 0.1 millimeter. So that's going to let us get our, so we can move with precision. So we use our right arrow key and we're only moving 0.1 millimeter. What we want to do is get it so it just sticks out just a little bit, right, on this left side. So what we're doing is right in here, it's sticking out. If you look at it, you can see that it's kind of sticking out just a little bit. So I move my camera angle around. If I move it to the right, it's flush there. That's too close in. I want to make it so it's just a fraction of a hair sticking out, right? And that's going to be where we set up our hinge. Now, what we can do here is my hinge is already set up in the right line. But what I can do is now control C, control V. And if I hold down my right mouse button, I can move my hinge, zoom back in again, and get my hinge to the right spot. So again, I'm zooming in. I want to have it just sticking out a little bit. There's my hinge, right? So now what I'm going to do is I've got my hinge in the right spot. You can do one of two things. I can either grab that right hinge or these are already lined up. I like how these are lined up. So I'm going to grab this one, control C, control V. I'm going to move this to the right some. And now what we got to do is we want to rotate it just 180 degrees. So what I'm going to do is click my degrees here, rotate it 180. And now I've got my hinge is flipped around the other way. And... I can, if I hold down shift and move my finger, that'll help me shift my camera angle. And I am going to go back in and move this, click this shape and I'll move it again, just so I see a little bit of it, All right? And so now what we're doing is our hinge, so like the solid part and with the, the piece that's going out, you need to go, this is the left side, so the solid part is on the left solid part is on the right. And so now what we can do with this one, control C, control V, and we're just gonna slide this one across, making sure we're just using our right and left arrow, we're gonna make it so it's sliding right in line. And we'll go back to the left just a little bit. And if we need to change our camera angle, we're gonna go, so we have just a little bit coming out. There it is, so that is our hinges. So now we're, we're almost done with our hinges, right? And so we have our hinges, we have our pieces. So now here's, we do not group these together yet, okay? Absolutely do not group these together. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna actually change these colors. Well, I wanna pick my hinge here. And let's change the color of the hinges so we make them so that they are a different color so we know how they're sticking out. Right? Or we can change our batarang so we've got it.
Okay, so what we want to do is make sure that everything is a different color so we know what we're looking at and we can see kind of where everything is. So now, here is what we're going to do. We're going to have to um, piece this out so that we know what we are working with here. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our punch. And so we're going to move the punch in, and the punch is set up so it's the right size. And what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in on the punch. And what we want to do is make sure that we don't have any what are called air gaps, right? And so our what we want to get is we don't want to see any orange. We want to see the gray, just a little bit of the gray around the side there. But what we don't want is an air gap where we see the orange because that's what we're trying to get rid of. That's the batarang shape. So what we're going to do is come back here and we're going to move around and say, okay, I don't have any gray. I don't have any gray. So I'm changing my angle here. I don't have any gray. I'm going all the way around and especially here in... Okay, so see, or I don't have any orange. So see how I've got that orange right there? We don't want that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to move this just a little bit, right, so that we don't see the orange, or don't see the orange, right? Well, now that we're done with the orange, we're set with it. Okay, so now this is lined up perfectly. So we're going to do a Control-C, Control-V. We can move this shape going back the other side again and we're going to do the same thing set this up so we are seeing our all right and we can actually go a little further Right, and that should be if I go see if I go one more see how I see that orange don't want the orange So there it is. So I go one more. So there's my hinge. So I've got the gray and the blue for it So I'm gonna go here Right, and I can control C control V move this to the right And Gonna do the same thing. I'm looking down here. See I've got the orange I want to get the orange, no orange. All right, and then I'm going to do this, control C, control V. Move this again, either with your arrows or the mouse, if you've got a mouse. We're gonna slide that into there and make sure that we're covering up. Don't have any air gaps. See, I got a little bit of orange right there. Orange is gone. Okay, so now that I've got this, here's what were the interesting thing. So what we're gonna do is we're just getting rid of the battering and the so we want to turn so the first thing we want to do is we want to select these and we're gonna turn those all into holes. So those are gonna be our holes. Okay, then the next thing that we're gonna do is we want to select this so we're selecting just the just the shapes so hold on here let me click off this so i've got just our shapes so we're going to change it so our view is right on the edge so i'm going to select just these shapes so i've got my four holes i'm going to hold down the shift button and select my batarang so that gives me the batarang and the holes not our pieces that are our, our hinges. When I group these together, that cuts out all of the space that was left in there. So now we've left our hinges. So now if you look around here, I all of the batarang pieces are cut out, but my hinge is still there. And you have an articulated object.